guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about hair. My favourite hair products that I've been using for the past probably a few months. So I'm going to jump straight into shampoo and conditioner. So for shampoo and conditioner I have been using things that are going to repair my hair because I've done a lot of work on my hair. I've bleached it, I've, I straighten it quite a lot, I curl it quite a lot. Um, and I'm always putting products on my hair so I've recently I've been trying to use the best shampoos and conditioners to repair my hair so ever since last December I've been trying this bedhead TIGI urban antidotes shampoo and conditioner so they both look very alike and basically you get a damage level so my damage level is actually number three which I think is the worst one and it it's weak, it's for weak, brittle hair that needs an intervention and it's got like boost strength in it, stamina, all of that's good stuff. I've noticed that it's a bit more stronger whereas before when I used to brush my hair a lot would fall out. Ever since I've been using this, I've been using it a long time, but ever since I've been using this, I feel like it has worked. But I don't want to use these every single time I wash my hair because it doesn't give me that nice smell and that nice shiny feeling it just repairs the hair and it feels stronger so I do switch between shampoos and conditioner I've been proper switching between them lately so my kind of go-to shampoo and conditioners are going to be the L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Shampoo um, this is a really good shampoo for my hair because I want lots of volume I want lots of shine and I like it when it just sits right. You know when you find that shampoo where your hair just sits right after you've blow dried it? This is the one for me. The conditioner, this one goes with it. This is the El Vive Dream Lens Detangling Conditioner. Now this is brilliant for my hair because my hair gets super knotty. I don't even know why, why it gets so knotty. I cannot work it out. I brush it every night before bed and I brush it every, obviously every day. Um, when I curl my hair, my hair gets very knotty. When it's straightened, it still gets knotty. So I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I think it's the wind and like working out and stuff. I'm not sure. But anyway, this has worked wonders for my hair. Um, I like to leave it in for quite a bit, and it really does detangle like the ends, and it leaves them very smooth and just really nice. And the smell is beautiful. Yeah, it smells beautiful. The other shampoo that I've been using and have been obsessed with, like if I feel like my hair is a little bit dry, I will use this. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Silicone Free Shampoo, the Sleek Restorer, and it's got coconut oil and cocoa butter in it. That all sounds good to me. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, I need that. So it smooths and nourishes dry, frizzy hair, and it really does do that. I've also been recommended to use a like a, a mask on my hair. So this is by Pantene, Pantene Expert Collection, and this is the Age Defy one. And this mask smells amazing, and I leave it on for like 20, 20, 30 minutes, I think it is. And then when I take it off, it feels really good, like really good. So I've been using this about twice a week, and I have noticed a difference, but I just still want to keep continuing using it. But yeah, that is probably one of my favorites. This conditioner, is really good if I just want straight hair so sometimes like when I'm washing my hair I'll think to myself do I want curly hair or do I want straight hair and this actually stops you having to literally put the straightens on your hair but with this it silicones softens and shines the hair and it stops that staticness which I hate it's the Lee Stafford poker straight conditioner and I've been applying that lately through the ends of my hair and you literally just blow dry your hair and it just straightens like just blow dry it the right way and it will straighten your hair and you'll get that poker straight look like it really does do that it's it's really good when I saw that I was thinking I don't believe in all that I don't think that'll work but it really does work and you only have to put it on the end of the hair and it just makes it straight for heat defense um, I have quite a few because I do like to chop and change. There's this heat defense that I've been using recently and I actually really like it. It's from Superdrug. It's a Superdrug brand and it's, <clears throat> it's called Style Expertise 
and it's a number six and it stops heat damage, frizziness and it just smooths your hair out completely. And I've been using this for quite a long time now. I use this every single time I blow dry my hair, straighten it, curl it, wave it, anything. Another heat defending spray I've been obsessed with. This one has literally been my baby. Um, this is the Swatchwaff, can't say that word, got to be crazy for sleep days straightening spray. And you can literally keep up to four days straight with this. This lasts in your hair for such a long time. So you can spray it today, straighten your hair, and then straighten your hair for another four days and it still stays in your hair. So it's still going to protect the hair. So it does stay in for about four days. And as you can see, it's great for not using too much because I've used it and you just don't need to keep using it every single day because it lasts up to four days. So it's really good for like money's worth. The next product for heat defense is this one. Now this one I tend to use at night time. Um, if I'm like going out or anything because it leaves such a nice shine and gloss and this is the heat defense gloss spray and this is for normal to thick hair um, by Pantene so it's just this bottle here and this spray is weird because it doesn't go into like a mist it goes into like a pistol water like it comes out in a pistol spray like a very thick spray um, so you have to be quite careful when you put it on but my advice would be to turn your head upside, flip your hair over, like turn your head upside down and then spray and just rub it in because when you just spray it like that, it just, there's no mist to it, it's just a spray. Next, if I don't want to use any heat on my hair, which I've been doing lately because I'm trying to get my hair back to how it should be, this is by Style Expertise again and this is the Texture Salt Infusion Surf Spray. So you know when you just have wet hair and you just want to Leave it to air dry and maybe having a chill Sunday, but you just want that nice surfery wavy look, just use this. This is the surf spray number two, and I love it. You just spray it on after you've washed your hair, like when it's damp, and then like vermouth it up a bit, like push it up, wave it out a little bit, and it leaves like, such natural, pretty now wave. For hairspray, um, I like using just normal hairspray, but I have been obsessed with like a shine spray. Um, I've tried the Bumble and Bumble one and that is amazing as well. But this one is the one I've been obsessed with. Like this really leaves such a beautiful shiny spray to your hair, a shine to your hair. This is the Lee Stafford Shine Spray. Um, and it says shiny sexy hair in a can. So it's this one in this pink bottle here, pink spray can. And I've just used this on my hair and I flipping love it. It makes it so, so shiny. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my hair's very dry, and ever since I've been using this, it's just made it so shiny. And why am I keep getting that gap in my hair? Let's do my head in. <laughs> for hairspray, I have been in love with this for God knows how long. This is my go-to hairspray. Even even my boyfriend uses this because it's so good. This is the L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin Hairspray, and it's the Infinite Shine Supreme Hold, and you don't have to put a lot on. And also for hairspray, I've tried so many, and every time I put a hairspray on, usually it just gives me that sticky, rock hard feeling, and then you can't do what you want with your hair, and it just looks awful, you get patches and stuff. But this is such a fine mist, and it just leaves your hair feeling like just normal, like it feels like you haven't put shampoo, you haven't put hairspray in it. There's just no like hardness to it, there's no like stiffness to it it's all soft and and satiny and glowy and it's just it's just a really good hairspray so they are the hair products that i've been using for some of them i've been using like recently and some i've been using for like a good six months now and i definitely wouldn't change any of them they are my go-to ones i'm always up for trying new products out i love trying new products out but they are my go-to favourites. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to check out my social channels. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!